Happy Halloween everyone, it is Mad Money Banks and in honor of Halloween we're going to be showing you how to make the Ghost Rider outfit in GTA. Now also in honor of the new bike, the Sanctus I believe it's called, you want to make a Ghost Rider outfit because you got the bike to go with it. Now we're going to tell you how to make the clothes for Ghost Rider along with how to make your bike look to make it look as authentic as Ghost Rider's look is. Now you may have your own opinions about this and you can change up the outfit as much as you want. That's optional. You don't have to stick exactly with what I made here. Please try to make your own versions of this because you want to be more unique. Uh, I did have other suggestions that you could make for you know different out different uh, pieces of clothing here, but uh, these are the ones that I went with to try to make it look as uh, legit as possible. So let's start with the jacket because that's the main thing on Ghost Rider. Now I went with the black classic biker jacket. You can also go with the fitted leather jacket, which also is not a bad fit, but it does show more of your chest and body on the inside. So you might want to put a shirt on or leave it blank, whatever you want. You can have no shirt on on underneath that if you want it's all you but I went with the black classic biker because it seems right, to look the more the legit than any of them now let's move on to the pants now you want to go over to the pants and go to the leather pants section go down to the last one number 12 called the black plane pants now these pants look the most legit that I can find all the other ones you know are nice and everything but these are some real biker pants so we went with these they look perfect for a ghost rider Let's scoot over here to the shoes where you'll be putting on the all black Chelsea boots. Now I went with these boots because in all the pictures I've seen of Ghost Rider he has like these type of uh, leather boots in a way I guess. I don't want to say leather boots but they, he, these boots kind of look real similar to what he's been wearing in all the pictures that I found. I wish the bottoms of them were black though but the bottoms are brown when you lift up your feet you see like a brown uh, uh, sole to it but it's not that bad the, these boots kind of fit him almost perfectly otherwise you can always change the boots if you want to you don't have to stick with this this is just a suggestion of course the very last thing is you want to put on some gloves on this guy so you can also try other gloves than what I chose I chose the black leather gloves here but they all they have all sorts of black gloves here that'll work you have the black woolen gloves you got the black fingerless gloves which I think look pretty cool but uh, I went with the black leather gloves because he seems to wear mostly leather anyway now we're gonna head over to the hairdresser now this hairdresser we have to go to him not to change our actual hair but to change the face paint now a lot of times your mask will be removed while you're using your character you want to make your character look as legit as possible I did not change my hair because you can choose whatever hair you want for Ghost Rider but the exposed skull face paint actually looks more legit when you have the mask off even when you have the mask on you do get the tiny little neck bones that come out of the mask so it looks a little more legit like a skeleton is under there this face paint will give you the best appearance when you're not using a mask because th when you go into missions and all different types of things they will be removing your mask a lot so you want to still look pretty cool without the mask there are some other masks that you can choose from it's up to you and I also recommend putting in some different contacts so then you can look even more evil I stuck with my green ones at the end though because I always keep them in they're the lizard version but you can put on whatever you want look as evil as possible it's Halloween dress up as you like the last place we're gonna go to get our outfit together is the mask store it's all the way by the beach you wanna get all the way over there talk to these people and you're going to be going all the way down to the monster section now it's at the end of the monster section number 63 of the monster section the gray skull now you can also choose the silver skull if you want to I wouldn't recommend the black skull but if you want that's up to you I chose the gray skull because it looks the most legit to me but silver skull is definitely not a bad choice it silver skull was actually the second choice of mine that I was gonna go with but then I was like ah, let's go with gray why not so as you can see we got this Ghost Rider outfit looking really good now you can be Ghost Rider but hey you gotta trick out that bike because when it comes stock it's not gonna be the exact bike that you want for Ghost Rider you wanna put some upgrades on it make it the fastest bike and the most badass bike in the town now I'm gonna tell you right now you gotta pay to play on this one because this bike is expensive I, I'd go as far as saying it's probably the most expensive bike in GTA to date I'm not hundred percent sure about that though but if you want to get the Ghost Rider bike you're gonna have to shove out almost two million dollars for this before upgrades so make sure you got some money stockpiled up 
the upgrades you're gonna put on there are normal upgrades like speed upgrades armor upgrades yeah, bulletproof tires all that, that fun stuff but there's a few things that I would recommend like the mud guards keep them stock don't pay for no new ones because the stock ones look really good a lot of this stuff you want to keep stock because it's already badass as stock you don't want to be that person that puts on all the you know most expensive upgrades and looks kind of silly with them I would recommend for the belt drive covers you go with the secondary color flame cover because that one actually looks pretty good for the engine block I went with the secondary color as well these upgrades aren't too expensive they're not gonna break the bank keep that stock air filter on it looks real nice but go with the double chop exhaust now with these exhausts you can choose from a few of them they all look good actually you can go with the side slash exhaust or the drag pipes I like them all on this one though I would not keep it stock the stock one is a little short and stubby looking for the horn you gotta go with the Halloween horn either one loop one or loop two but go with a Halloween horn just to just for the festa purposes of this horn now one thing I highly recommend is you do not choose the xenon lights they turn the lights blue while the stock ones are red and badass keep them badass don't change them as for the livery just try to choose a livery that is dark I chose the stealthy snake livery which you can't really see so here let me change it up a little bit as you can see the stealthy snake is not a bad choice there's other ones that are that will make good choices as well but try to choose something that isn't too attractive it's not gonna take your eye off the actual bike itself you don't want to go with like a red or or uh, American stripe one because it's a little too revealing you want to keep it as dark as possible maybe a few lines here and there License plate, always stick with the black one. It's a black bike. Let's stick with a black and yellow license plate. Now, for the primary and secondary colors, primary color, put it on classic black. Let's keep it classic. Secondary color, put that chrome on there. It looks real nice. It, it fits the, the uh, Ghost Rider perfectly. There's a few other colors that'll match with it as well. Try them out, see which one you like. Since you want this to be the most badass bike on the street, you got to put the race transmission on. Buy as many upgrades to the bike as possible. Performance upgrades, not appearance upgrades. Get that turbo tuning so you can beat all the other racers. And the wheel type is crucial. Now, you want to choose ones that just look badass. The first one I went with with the uh, front wheel is going to be the Razor. It is number 27 on my list. It is not bad for a front wheel, but I put a different tire in the back wheel. I usually don't do this, but with the back wheel, I put Grouch because it seems like Ghost Rider should have a much larger tire in the back than in the front. Wheel type is not crucial, though. You can change it to whatever you want. Let's go to bike color. Keep it as black. You want to keep this bike as dark as possible with that nice chrome in the middle. Custom tires is also optional. It says Atomic on it. That's the only thing that makes them a custom tire based on a regular tire. If you want it to say Atomic on the back, put custom tires on. With me, I chose not to because I want to look more authentic. Tire smoke, you should go with black and of course choose the bulletproof tires. You don't want people in GTA free mode popping your tires and making you look silly. Put those bulletproof tires on there. After you've done all these upgrades for your GTA bike, let's go out of this mechanic shop and cruise around town looking nice for Halloween. Let me know what upgrades you would have went with. I know you got some different suggestions in your mind. Also put down below what you guys are going to be for Halloween. Happy trick or treating. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Cops ran me off the road and then shot me dead. Probably more. <laughs> more than your channel ever will. Because oh, I'm not growing mine. The fuck? I only got three videos out of four. <laughs> I'm doing shit with it. These bikes, look, you got the red, matte, black. Why? Someone bought uh, my bike? Damn oh, bikes on. You blew up my bike twice! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> you gonna blow my bike up? I'm, I'm really Ghost Rider now. Look at this shit! <laughs> look at this shit! <laughs> You blowing up bikes? They're twenty thousand dollar bikes, nigga. No, they're two million dollar bikes. You only gotta pay twenty grand. Man, 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 Keep blowing man, these up. Man. You're gonna be broke real quick. Hey, yo, <laughs> like... man, I'm keeping it one hundred, bro. You really was go <laughs> <laughs>